What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. I know you're seeing all these amazing, colorful ingredients, so you know what the topic of the video is today. We are doing a meal prep video. I know y'all have missed them and I have missed making them. So this is my preferred way to meal prep for the week. I know it seems really sexy and amazing and it's Instagrammable to put up an entire countertop full of meals for the week that, you know what, sometimes you get tired. And so after three and four days of eating the same exact thing, what happens? You start to make up excuses as to why you can't eat the food and or you start to drown it in a whole bunch of sauce just so it can be palatable. We're gonna stop all that today and I'm gonna show you why mix and match meal prep is the way to go. The first thing you're gonna do is select your protein. Now, I generally like to use chicken because it's cost effective and you can dress it up pretty easily, but you can use shrimp, you can use a type of fish, whatever it is that's going to fit your budget and your taste buds. If you're going the plant-based route, I honestly love chickpeas. We're gonna make these again. It's a great protein option for you and also it's very hearty, very filling. It'll give you lots of energy. For the grain, I'm gonna be using some very fragrant jasmine rice. And for the veggies, I've got some Tuscan kale and I also have some spinach, cauliflower, some zucchini, some red potato, red onion, and bell pepper. And then for our healthy fat, the good kind of fat, right? I got the avocado, but we're also gonna be using some tahini if you want, or you can swap that in with some peanut butter. You can use olive oil. I'm gonna show you how to bring all this together so that way you can personalize it for you and your goals. If you are ready to roll up your sleeves, I haven't said that in so long. If you're ready to roll up your sleeves, then let's get started. First up, I'm gonna show you how to make some fajita style roasted veggies. Grab a large mixing bowl, gonna add in all our veggies cauliflower, zucchini, onion, red potato, and bell pepper. First, you're gonna drizzle in a little bit of olive oil. Keep the seasoning simple. Chili powder, a little bit of cumin, then a pinch of sea salt, and some black pepper. Get your hands dirty or begin to toss. Grab a baking tray, line it with some parchment paper, and get the largest one you have. We wanna spread out these vegetables. We want them crisp with nice seared edges. We're gonna roast this for about 25 to 30 minutes at 420. So I got the vegetables roasting and then you wanna put on the pot for your rice. As a time saver, I love to use frozen rice. It costs a little bit more money, but I'm telling you the rice comes out perfect. It's delicious. And all you have to do, mm-hmm. Let's pop into the microwave for three minutes. Jasmine rice, done. You're gonna grab the largest non-stick skillet that you have, place it on medium heat. Once it's nice and hot, in goes the olive oil. And we're gonna start to add in the greens. I like to add in the kale first because it takes a little bit longer for the kale to wilt down, you know, spinach super quick. And you see when it starts to get a vibrant green color, that's exactly what we want. Now I'm gonna add in the spinach. In goes the garlic. Bit of salt, some black pepper, Toss everything together. Set this aside. Place that same skillet back onto the heat. We're gonna do it a medium high. Add in some olive oil again. In go the chickpeas. Spread them out in the pan. And the same way that you would a piece of meat, just kind of let them sear. Add in some personality. I got some garlic powder. I like to be a little heavy handed with this curry because mm, this one smells so good. Pinch of sea salt some black pepper, add in a little bit of lemon juice. We are finished with our chickpeas. Next, we're gonna make some spicy Creole chicken. Grab that same mixing bowl that we had like with the veggies. We're gonna add in our chicken, some smoked paprika, a little bit of garlic, some oregano, and then just a little bit of heat. I love it. Just some cayenne, just a little bit. I'm gonna add just a dollop of olive oil as a binder, pinch of sea salt, and black pepper. All right, get your hands dirty. Mix everything together. Use that same nonstick skillet. You can add a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna spray it now that it's hot. In goes the chicken, and you wanna quickly spread it out. And chopping your chicken into about one inch pieces, maybe even a little bit smaller, it's easier for you to divvy it up around your meal prep. And right as it finishes up, I like to sprinkle in just a little bit of fresh parsley. Beautiful, seared, juicy chicken breast. 
For the first meal combo, we're gonna fry up some eggs with some jasmine rice. You got scrambled eggs, jasmine rice, top it off with green onion and some heart healthy avocado. For a second meal combo, what about some rice pudding? We're gonna add in a little bit of yogurt, add a little bit of banana milk in there, hit it with a little bit of chia, some maple syrup, and some cinnamon. And if you wanna boost the calories a little bit more, just do a drizzle of your favorite nut butter. For meal combo number three, we got a chicken grain bowl. Get our fajita vegetables, add in some of the jasmine rice, healthy serving of our chicken. For meal four, we got a plant strong grain bowl. So I'm gonna add my fajita veggies to a bowl, add in some grains, give us a nice little toss so everything is well mixed together. Get a serving of our chickpeas, of our crispy chickpeas, put them right on top. I like to add a little bit of tahini. For meal number five, we've got a little bit of jasmine rice, some garlicky greens as a really big base, and our spicy chicken. For six, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna swap out the chicken with our crunchy chickpeas. I like to sprinkle on some toasted pumpkin seeds. For meal seven, we have our fajita veggies and some chicken. To boost the hardiness, we're gonna add a little bit of avocado. And for eight, we're gonna do that exact same thing, but we're gonna add in the chickpeas. Don't forget the side of avocado to boost the hardiness. For meal nine, we have our fajita veggies, our garlicky greens, and spicy chicken. For a richer flavor, drizzle on a little bit of tahini. And for number 10, do that exact same thing, but with our crispy chickpeas. And that is it for mix and match meal prep. I told you all, it's super simple. The cleanup is also simple because you just use your mixing bowl and the nonstick skillet. I'm showing this as a proof of concept. What I would recommend that you do is just keep all the individual things that we cooked in the separate meal prep containers. And then whenever you want some inspiration, you just take out your meal container and then you just begin to mix and match that way. Make this your own, highly maintainable according to your budget and also your dietary preferences. Grab the entire meal prep over at fitmancook.com. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to smash that like button to subscribe to the channel. And remember to ring that bell, ding, 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 because we're gonna be posting a lot more hot content in the Fit Man Cook Kitchen just like this. Check out our podcast at the table where we discuss the most relevant topics of today around good food. That is at thetabletalks.com or you can just search at the table wherever you choose to get your podcast. Enjoy this meal prep, guys. Comment below which one is your favorite meal. Until next time, I want you to keep it healthful, but of course, never ever boring. Boom! Bye, peeps.